Good afternoon, Andoni. Um, it's deadline day in the UK, which I'm sure you're aware is a massive day in the football calendar. Fans get excited, the media gets excited, and there's an opportunity for you to still strengthen your squad. I know, of course, you've been through deadline days in La Liga, but are you aware of the magnitude and the size of, of a day like this in this country? Yes, uh, obviously we know. We know that the last day in the, in the market normally is a busy day. A lot of things going on. But uh, I don't have big news to tell you. <laughs> we have to wait some, still some hours. Uh, Number-wise, I told you before during the week, I think we are OK. So if movement happens one way or the other, it has to be, there has to be some balance. There's been reports of interest from Tottenham Hotspur for Lloyd Kelly and a bid rejected. Could you just update us on the latest situation with that? No, there have been uh, different interests from different players, from different categories, different... Uh, uh, it's something normal, I think, in, in all the teams right now. But uh, there is nothing else than this. I think uh, if something happens uh, with Lloyd or with other players or in other positions, it has to be something, like I told you, with, with someone leaving, someone arriving. Uh, but um, it may nothing happen and we stay as, as we are also. We don't know. Has the club rejected a bid from Tottenham? Uh, I think there's interest, there's negotiations. I don't know <laughs> uh, where they are right now. I'm really focused on the game and I, I'm leaving this part for for, for the club, but right now he's, uh, he's our player. All of our players we have today training are ready to, to help us and we'll see how is the, the situation from tomorrow. Have you had the opportunity to speak with Lloyd? Because clearly he's been at the club a long time, an important member of your squad, but when a club the size of Tottenham comes in for you, naturally your head will be turned. Yes, we speak with the players uh, a lot of times. Uh, I, I understand uh, everyone's interest. There are different interests here uh, from uh, in all the in all the deals, but we, we cannot rush it. Uh, for me, Lloyd right now is my player. I appreciate it. I think he's a very very good player, and uh, I hope he, he continues with us uh, until the uh, from tomorrow. Yeah. You speak about obviously incomings and I know there is still a few hours to go so things can change very quickly. The Bournemouth fans will be hanging on every word you say. Do you think there will be a new player between now and 11 o'clock? Uh, there are different situations but a lot of interests have to collide, you know, because it's not... It's, uh, uh, right now we have to balance everything. If a player is leaving is because someone is arriving and there are another club, another player, and everything has to get uh, to, to the same place. And we'll see if, if we can make any deal that we think improves the team. And uh, we'll, we'll see it. Obviously, you got your first win in the Cup, which will be welcome. How important is it now you get that first win in the Premier League before the international break? I think it, it was a, a, a good game from us, especially second half the other day against Swansea. I think we can... Uh, the most important thing, we are in the next round, different competition in the Cup, but we, I value the Cup a lot. And now we need, we need points in the league. I think uh, we are facing a very good team and they haven't lost still in three games. And we have to be ready for, for a tough game, but I think... Uh, team is training well and we are, we are looking forward to the game. And just finally for me, international break, obviously after the game with Brentford. How will you use that? I know some of the players will go off on international duty, but, but could this be a really good opportunity now that the window would have closed for you to work with the players and really instil what you want from them as you look to build and develop the philosophy at the club? Yes, uh, for us, I would say, I, uh, Fortunately, because we have quality players, a lot of them will go with their national teams. Uh, more or less half of the squad will stay here and it will be good for them, training-wise, and also very good moment to recover some of the injured players that have been out for us, and, and I think they will be important for, for us, we hope, starting with, uh, with Chelsea's game. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Afternoon. Um, what's the team news ahead of the match tomorrow? 
uh, I think uh, you 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 saw that the other day against Swansea, almost we were the same team against uh, than against the Spurs. Uh, Tavernier and Adam Smith are, I would say, uh, training partly with the team. Maybe are the ones who could help us. I don't know if it's good for for them to reach them tomorrow, but I would say are the closest to be to be part of the team. And um, in terms of preparing to take on Brentford tomorrow, um, they're doing a good job of scoring whilst missing their main striker. Is that more difficult to prepare against without that threat of Ivan Tony? Uh, they are a team that uh, you can see that they've been with the same coach for a lot of time. They they are very good in small details, in set pieces, in attacking the spaces. You see a team that is very well worked, very well organized, and we we have to be ready for for this challenge because they are they are dangerous. Yeah. And in terms of Thomas Frank as a head coach, do you take much inspiration in what he's achieved at Brentford to what you could maybe replicate? Yeah, I think uh, it's a, a good reference because they've been very good with uh, with a good core of players that have been improving. They got promoted and they've established them in the in the Premier League. They are doing really well and uh, it could be a, a good reference, yes. And just a quick question on your previous role. You would have faced Ansu Fati a couple of times last season. He could be a Premier League player today and you'll face him in a couple of weeks. Uh, what kind of thing would we expect to see from him in the Premier League? Ah, Ansu is an amazing player. Uh, he can play, I would say, wide. He can play as a nine, as a second striker. And his relation with the goal is, is very close. If we, if uh, he he gets close to the to the box and he has the chances, he will score for sure. So we think uh, for Brighton, it's a it's a very good signing. Thank you. Thank you. Afternoon, Antonio. Afternoon. Just ask you about um, Andre Radu on uh, Tuesday night. It was his, obviously his full debut for the club and must not lose sight of it. it was his first competitive game since the end of last season. How did you think he did? Yes, I think it's good news. New players start getting the, the minutes. Uh, uh, for sure he wasn't happy because at the end uh, he conceded two goals and without a lot of threats. But we, we 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 gave a, a penalty early and uh, a shoot from outside at the end. But at the end we, we won the game. That is the important thing. Also he will be willing to to push El Soneto and uh, fight for, for the position. It's what we need from all the players. And just finally, uh, on international duty, Milos Kerkes is going away with Hungary to play Serbia, the country where he was born. Now, what have you made of him so far? He seems a very infectious character. Yes, I think he's a player with the willingness to grow as soon as he can. He's very young, but he he wants to prove everyone that he's ready for, for the Premier League and that's what he's doing first games. I think he's uh, we are demanding him a lot because uh, we are pushing him, he's down. The other day we could give him at least 45 minutes of, of rest because we will need him. And uh, he knows he has to improve certain things, as all the players, but he's, he's really willing to, to improve these things.